Hi and welcome, Kat from Sacred Soul Rising. So I'd like to do something a little bit different this morning. For anybody that is struggling on this journey, I want to give you a powerful transmission, a powerful healing transmission to help and support you this week, today, next week, tomorrow. So I've got some, I've just lit it some really beautiful Palo Santo. Palo Santo, as well as white sage, is really good for cleansing your space, for cleansing your energy, for cleansing you, for releasing, for letting go. This journey is all about releasing, is all about letting go. And I send this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Palo Santo, I send it to you, the, clean, the cleansing energy of Palo Santo. So let's set the energy, I'm going to put this over here, we're going to set the energy today to release, to let go, to surrender, to give ourselves unconditional love. This is Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz is the crystal of unconditional love for self. If you came into my house, you would find Rose Quartz absolutely everywhere, even in the shower. Rose Quartz is there for you, for unconditional love. If you're struggling to sleep at night, getting a nice big chunky bit and putting it under your pillow um, will really help you. It will really help you relax, to feel nurtured, to, to really nurture self. I wanted today to talk about and to pull some cards really and I've got several cards that I want to share with you and to share this transmission, this healing transmission but also this channeled message today. The first card is she feels she knows. On this journey, this journey is not a journey of mind. If you stick in the mind trying to figure out the journey, you know, in 30 day boot camp yesterday, what we were working on is if you are focused solely on the signs and trying to figure out the signs, and let's face it, on this journey, the universe will give you so many signs, signs and synchronicities that will blow your mind and you can stay in the mind trying to figure it out or you can drop into soul now soul is about feeling soul is about that inner knowing what gets activated well we know that all the chakras are activated on this journey we know that shakti ma is flowing through them all but that third eye the eye that sees beyond this world is activated. And that deep inner knowing that you are on a journey like you have never been on before is she feels, she knows. Another part of the journey is transforming fear into love. And when we transform the fear the fear that gets activated with those core wounds, when we are able to transcend it and transform it into the lo love vibration, we know that we start to feel that inner union. And once we create inner union, then we can allow divine masculine to come back in to our frequency. Remember that this journey is all about frequency. This is an energetic connection. One of the main things is about trusting, having that deep inner trust that you are on something incredible. And the way that we work through this journey, it's not always going to be seen with the physical eyes. It will be felt and known with that inner compass, that third eye, which gets really activated on this journey. And if you are really struggling with a lot with headaches and feeling like that really heavy energy, it's because that third eye is expanding. And hematite, the crystal hematite is incredible. So if you're struggling with that, go and get some hematite. The next card is diving for light. What does diving for light mean? 
It means that you will find your light on this journey when you dive within. If you are stuck on this journey, having readings, and you may go, well, you're doing a reading now. I'm doing it from an empowered place. I'm not doing it of divine masculine is coming back in in June. They're thinking of you. They're returning. So you then think, okay, I'll just wait for the golden carrot. That is not how I read. And that is not this journey. Many, many times on this journey, people, and for years and years have come to me and said, will you do me a twin flame reading on my divine masculine? And I will always say no. And the reason why is I will not do a reading on divine masculine. I will help and guide you. But the journey starts with you. This journey is not soulmates, it's like no other. So if you are watching tarot readings, trying to figure out divine mas when divine masculine is returning or tuning in to his horoscope and trying to match, does it match with yours and what is yours saying, what is his saying? That is all mind and ego. It is the level of mind and ego. This journey and this card comes today to remind you it is about diving deep within. When you, and this is a really important part, when you find your own light, Divine Feminine, your whole frequency and energy changes. And that frequency and energy allows Divine Masculine to return. The next card is being open to receive. We know on this journey that the heart chakra is activated and it is activated at full level. Once you have that Kundalini activation and Shakti Ma hits the heart chakra, it opens up the heart chakra in such a powerful way. Now you believe all that love that you feel is for divine masculine, but that love that you feel is for you to receive divine feminine is for you to bring it back to you. While ever you are pushing that energy on to divine masculine, in this connection, because you are one energetic system, it will push divine masculine away. <clears throat> one second. Every journey starts with a single step. If you have been struggling on this journey. If you have been, I'm in such toxic energy, I'm not doing things that are healthy, and that's what I want you to do. Today, I want you to self-inquire, and I want you to ask yourself, are you doing things that are healthy and nurturing for you? Are you bringing the energy back to you? We all know on this journey, it gets activated and that mind gets activated in a really powerful way. We go fully into that fear, that fear vibration. But this journey is about transforming it and taking that single step. And that single step is for you to create, to create your big, bold vision. Where are you going, Divine Feminine? The soul is always calling to you. And this journey activates you onto your soul purpose to align fully with soul, to align with each one of your chakras. And what are your chakras? Your life force energy. Divine Masculine is not going anywhere. But until you raise in frequency, it doesn't allow Divine Masculine to raise in frequency. Beyond the mind, the heart beats. And this means that beyond the mind and ego, your heart is always guiding you. Your soul is always there, whispering to you, guiding you on your journey. But if you are in mind and ego, if you are trying to figure out the journey, you cannot feel into soul. You cannot hear the whispers of soul. And you cannot feel into the heart chakra of your own higher self. This journey is such a paradox. This journey is a journey like no other. But Divine Feminine, while ever you are searching outside of yourself and not doing the inner work, then you will stay looping. 
My work is to give you the tools so you can do the true inner work for this journey. So you can become that beautiful energetic being that you came here to be. To shine your light out, to be that way shower, to heal at levels that you never dreamt that you could heal at. To work with divine, to work with your guides, your spirit guides, your soul vibration. This journey is beyond just divine masculine. Don't worry, divine masculine is coming along for the ride, but it is you divine feminine that alters this. If you are searching out there about divine masculine, you are searching in the wrong place. The answer has always lied with you and the answer and how to shift and flip this journey is with you divine feminine. If you need more help and support, whether it's how to get out of that toxic energy, whether it's how to surrender, how to really become in and shift into that higher frequency and that higher consciousness, then my website is there. Everything that I create is to give you the tool belt, the tools, the compass and the map. But I cannot walk the journey for you. Nobody can. It is up to you, Divine Feminine, to really take that first step. Is today your first step, making your future and your journey a complete, beautiful dream? I send you so much love. Many blessings.